I want to show you the already uh, debitore arm armrest. You see how I have it? It's slightly about a half inch away at, at the peak from the guitar. I, I have it very, very. Uh, you can see it there. I have it very low. Most of it's past the bridge. This is the uh, combination of the. Uh, the Restivo guitar, the uh, Red Devil armrest, uh, the uh, uh, strings. I have uh, the Dario extra heavy, and I have the concert. I have the uh, not concertiste Sabarez Cantiga uh, heavy, and uh, so here we go. This is going to be the uh, uh, pardon me. This is going to be the uh, Tarago school. I'm, I'm suffering from a, a bad right arm. This helps immensely, and the Targa School, uh, with this short scale, it's the broken finger guitar method, so what I'm doing is I'm relaxing the hand completely. That's essentially it, what I'm doing is I'm placing the fingers, Finding the balance, my hand looks very uh, different from standard because if I play in standard, uh, my tendon gets all uh, tightened up and, and that's no good. So uh, that in mind, uh, between uh, the rest and the short scale, uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking the fingers and I'm landing on the very tip, and then of course you're going to use your guide fingers, and I'm placing the fingers as needed. Again, please go through the other videos. This is in fact, uh, I think the 12th or 13th video, so you got to go, I don't want to keep repeating, you got to go past the uh, other videos and find out what it's all about with the uh, concept of uh, motion the least uh, uh, amount of motion uh, used as possible. Okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm playing and I'm placing the fingers just needed. A little out of tune there. Before I forget, you can see the guitar is attached. I'm just using the uh, shelving liner and I got it attached to the back so I'm hands free. It's very low. On this guitar, because it's small, I'm able to get a, a higher slant. I can't play this on a regular guitar uh, and, and use this. So here is the... Uh, Okay, I don't think I've discussed in uh, the other videos the IMIM. -I, I can play plectrum style in about two or three days faster than I can play IMIM. -I but uh, that being said, uh, IMIM, -I the way it was taught to me, you can see that you have the rest stroke follow through very much like this uh, Segovia book. I'm playing off the side. Uh, with the armrest, I'm able to use the, the, more of a, the Targa school. For a while, I was playing like this with no nails, and I can do that on other guitars, but uh, I'm comfortable uh, back with the Targa school. I'm experimenting, and uh, never say never. Never uh, uh, conclude to anything. It's always a work in private, for me anyways. I keep changing sometimes daily, daily how I'm playing because I'm trying everything new. It's right brain, left brain, and I'll get back into that concept uh, later on. I'm trying to put everything into, uh, I'm trying to put a book into a, a 10 minute lesson. Uh, therefore, uh, here we go with the, 
That's that's my speed right now. In other words, I'm starting from scratch, and this is the grade level I'm at. I have been playing wrong for seven years. So this is my grade level. I've improved in the last three, four months uh, about a hundred percent. I couldn't even play. This guitar makes it easy because it's very small. Okay, that being said, uh, that's the uh, broken guitar method. That is the broken, uh, broken finger guitar method. Now here is the... Oh, I was going back to the IMIM. Okay, uh, the IMIM, very important that I don't uh, leave this out of my studies. Uh, what you're doing is you're moving the finger back, kind of like a hinge. And I'm doing the rest stroke uh, based on that. Here's my M. You can see my left hand, I'm always seeking the balance. I was working on the car the other day, I can see I got a bruise there. So here's my balance. Like I said, I can play faster with the plectrum in about two days. In other words, I haven't played plectrum for maybe a couple of years now. If I have, it's on, on and off. Uh, therefore, uh, here's your eye. Now, what's different about this, I've seen other uh, teachers and, and I differ from them. Uh, not to say one is right and one is wrong. It's, it's just different. I don't think I've seen anybody do this. I could be wrong. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm doing a rest stroke. And as I'm doing that rest stroke, there's a reflex that's going to kick that end finger up. Very much like walking. As if I was walking, you're walking, naturally, this finger moves. You don't even think about it. And now I'm going to the end, and then the eye is moving. I'm not thinking about it. I didn't do that one very good, uh, but it's just, it's a natural kick. It's, you're not thinking about it, it's just natural, finding the balance, and that's the way it was described to me. So I got my M, my I, now here's my M. Okay, I didn't kick back that much, but. And right now I'm getting a, a pain in my right, my right hand. My right hand I fell over and put all my weight on the right hand, so it, it gets, uh, particularly with the rest stroke, it gets uh, tightened up. Therefore, uh, here's your eye. Now I'm doing the eye, and there's my M. Okay, I kicked out too much. Like I, like I said, I'm not used to this guitar, and, uh, and my, my hand is, is tensing up. I. M, it kicked out, but you don't want it to kick out that far. I'm not even going to think about it. That's what I'm doing. You can see my left hand, I'm, I'm getting the balance. Wherever. You see how uh, the broken finger, it's, it's very, very distorted. But that's the way it's, it's working out. It's a very distorted uh, system to keep the, over, overriding the system is keep, keeping the tendons relaxed and finding a natural way to play the instrument without the tendons tensing up. That's the broken finger uh, left hand, uh, if you will. So now I'm going to do the I am, I am slowly, and I'm going to get let me do that again. My eye, ended up never realizing how much it will. I'm a little out of balance trying to get it into the camera. So that's probably throwing it off. You always have to have it in balance. Some more light on the subject here. Okay, now I just lost my screen, so I don't know which, how much is going to transfer. Okay, 
Okay, I'm tensing up my right hand. Okay, that's that's that. Okay, now the uh, tremolo. I don't know if you can see that. The fingers are touching. Your fingers always touch. Likewise with the with the left hand. Your fingers are. I'm trying to do too many things at once here. Okay. I'm trying to write a book in 10 minutes. Your left hand, your, your fingers are placed as needed using your guide finger. It's way out of tune. 